Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for joining me on this journey to getting more enjoyment and success out of our Joomla sites. Today I'm not coming to you from Krakow, though in just over a week Jay and Beyond is being held in Krakow and there'll be lots of Joomla people there, though I'm not going to be one of them. You know it's really important to have a good backup of your Joomla site at any time for a number of reasons. And fortunately, there's a really easy and free way to make a backup of your Joomla site. And that's what we're going to look at today, a Keepa backup. So let's head on over to the computer and check it out. Now, before we get right into installing the Kiba backup and doing a backup here on the basic Joomla site, just want to raise one point that's important to consider as you're making a backup, and it really applies to why you're making a backup. It's great to have a backup of the most recent version of your site if you made lots of changes and if you ever lost it on the server or something happened and you want to go back to the current site, that's a great reason to have a backup. But if you're making a backup because you're about to try something or do something to your site that you think might not work and is going to end up locking you out of the back end. You might get the white screen of death and you're not able to log into the admin area of your Joomla site. Then what you want, what you really want to know and be sure of is that you can access either your web hosting accounts control panel or you can access your file space um, through the control panel or file space through an FTP client. Because if you get locked out of your Joomla site or it's broken, uh, you're going to have to go in some other way to retrieve your backup and then try to restore your site. So that's an important thing. Now, I know most people working on their websites are confident or have access to their, um, to their web hosting accounts or to FTP, to their file space. But just in case you're in that situation and you don't have that, you really want to become confident or get the information to be able to do that because having a backup on the server that you can't access isn't going to help. Although in Akiba, you can back, uh, you can download the backup that you make of your site. So having made those comments, let's head on and uh, uh, check out the, uh, the screen here and we will uh, see how to do this. I'm logged into the back end of the basicjoomla.com site and we're going to go to extensions, manage and install. And in this case, we're going to install uh, Akiba from the Install From Web tab. Now, I've been adding and removing Akiba as I've been practicing or doing tests for uh, to make this tutorial flow. And you'll see right now, I'm not getting anything on the Install From Web tab. I don't know why that's happening, but if I click on Upload Package File and then click back to Install From Web, it appears. I don't know why, but that's the fix for it, so I go with it. And conveniently for us now, the first one offered, so we don't even have to search for Akiba Backup, is Akiba Backup. Now, if that's not showing up for you, by all means, search up here, type Akiba Backup. But there's what we want. So we're going to click on it. And here's the information. And you'll see it's a free download. And so we are just going to click the green Install button. And we're going to confirm the installation. And when we look at this file here, we see it's the 5.4.0 core. If you had a membership and were installing uh, installing the pro version, you would want to get a hold of that file. But we're installing the free version for right now. We'll look at the pro version, as I said, another time. We click on install. And there it is. It has installed. Now, what we're going to do next is go up to components and to Akiba Backup. Now, the first time that you run Akiba Backup, there is a configuration wizard. And uh, what this wizard does is uh, run some tests, does some things just to see what the configuration of your server is and times and how long it can run certain things and uh, sets itself up to run efficiently and properly on your server. So we're going to run that now by clicking left, left clicking on it. And it's going to zoom through the different opportunity, uh, different things. In fact, I'll probably just cut this video right here and skip to the end when that's done, because you don't need to sit here and watch that. Okay, now we see that the benchmarking has finished and we have an opportunity to back up now, go into the configuration or schedule automatic backups. 
Uh, like I said, we're going to look at configuration and scheduling automatic backups in another tutorial, in other tutorials. So let's right now just go right to backup now. We click on backup now. We can give this backup a short description name so we can uh, differentiate between other backups that we may have later on in the site. But I'm just going to leave this backup taken on Thursday 25th backup comment. I'll just toss one in there. Um, uh, backup for good typing, Tim, for tutorial. All right. And we click backup now. And once again, this is going to run through and back up the site. This is a very basic site, so it won't take very long. But again, I will probably just skip forward to it being finished. Okay, and there we go. That actually took uh, longer than I thought it was going to, but I'll explain why in a second. But after the backup is there, we can now click on, once the backup's finished, we can now click on Manage Backups. Now, as soon as we click on Manage Backups, this first time we see this uh, help window on how to restore a backup. And if you want to see how to restore a backup, you can click and uh, just follow through their video tutorial and uh, the steps. I will do a tutorial on how to restore uh, uh, your site when it's backed up with Akiba. And when I have that ready, I'll put a card up here somewhere so that you can go to that. Or you can use the resources that they have there already so i will say got it and after that closes we'll see here is the backup that was just taken that was taken on thursday the 25th of may and you'll see it took 10 minutes which is way longer than it usually does and the size is 113 megabytes the reason that that's so big is that i have a couple of other joomla sites that are installed in folders subfolders of this and the file space of this Joomla site. So uh, there is a way to exclude those from being backed up and soon I will do another tutorial on how to do that in the settings of Akiba. And as you know, of course, the same old drill. When that's done, I'll put the card up at the top somewhere. So now that we have this backup of the site, you could proceed with your changes and if something bad happens in whatever it is that you're doing, the reason, as I said, for doing your backup, you can always go in and restore. If something bad happens and you can't get in uh, to the back end of your Joomla site, you get the white screen of death, you're, log uh, you're locked out, you're going to go to your file space to get where this, uh, where this is located, where your backup files are. But you can also download it to your computer directly. So let's do that right now. Of course, you would do that by clicking the download button. And you'll see this warning here. We recommend closing this dialog using FTP in binary transfer mode or SFTP to download your backup archives uh, because they say downloading through your browser may corrupt the files. This has never happened to me before. It's always worked fine, but if it's a possibility, you might consider doing that. Now, if you download this file to your computer through the browser window here, it doesn't change the backup file that's on your file space. So even if you found this downloaded one corrupted through this process, which as I said, has never happened to me before, you could still go on your file space and access the file. So I'm just going to download that right now. Do I, am I sure I want to download? I sure do. And I will save it just into my little delete file here. Download that. And uh, it is complete, we see down there, and we will hit the X. Now, uh, I've talked a lot about accessing your download where it is on your file space. Let's just take a second and I'll show you where it is on the file space if you ever have to go looking for it at this stage of the game. So what I will do is I'll just bring over this tab, which has me logged into the web hosting account for the basic Joomla site. Uh, this is a cPanel interface. I use cPanel on CyberSalt hosting. I'm going to click on File Manager and I'm going to then go into, we're already in public HTML, in the folder where uh, Basic Joomla is installed. You want to go into Administrator, Components, Com Akiba, Backup, and then you'll see here 
are where your backup files are, your your logs for the backup, some other files that Akiba uses. But this site, basicjula.com, it's a JPA file, 113 megabytes. That's where you would go to find this file in order to download it to your computer and or even leave it in that folder in restoring your site through Akiba, which again, we'll look at in other tutorials. Hey, question for Joomla, you Joomla fans. Have you ever lost stuff because you didn't have your Joomla site backed up? If it's probably a painful story, but if you want to share what happened or when it did happen, even share what you had to do to get stuff back or what you lost or what it cost, cost you, put it in the comments section below. Also, if you're wondering, as you get looking around at some of the settings in Akiba, when you install it on your computer, why not, uh, if you have any questions about uh, what settings you'd like to see a tutorial on first, then by all means, please do uh, ask a question, leave a comment in the sections, and that will uh, help me get to what you want first instead of waiting for it. So there's lots more tutorials coming on Akiba, lots more tutorials coming on the channel, and don't forget, we've been uh, I've been doing live streams with uh, live answers, live bulletins, and uh, live fixes as I work on some sites and just show some quick fixes. So if you want to see what uh, comes up next on the channel or new releases, new tutorials, those live feeds, be notified of them. Subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications, and uh, that will be great. And we'll just continue to explore and get the best out of Joomla that we can together. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your Joomla sites, and God bless waiting 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 waiting